can you solve this geometry challenge? Here's the question. Given this right triangle, now let's draw a perpendicular line like this. And let's connect these two points like this. Now this triangle, let's have the area denoted as A. And the area of this triangle denoted as B. And the area of this last triangle simply equal to C. Now the question, what is the numerical value of A over B minus B over C? Wherein A, B, C are all areas. Pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question. Because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. Alright, so given this figure, the goal is to find the numerical value of A over B minus B over C wherein the value of A, B, and C are the areas of these three triangles. Now, to answer this question, we will use two different concepts. The first one is when we have a trapezoid A, B, C, D, and the diagonal cut the quadrilateral into four triangles, of which one opposite pair have equal areas, namely N and M must be equal. So, take note, when we add S on both sides, this area S, this is just the same thing, alright? So, we will use this concept to answer this kind of question. So, let's do that. So, to create a trapezoid, what we're going to do is to connect this point to this point, like this. Now, let's set aside this area A for a while. And take note of this region, this triangle, with an area of B square units. If this triangle have an area of B square units, this triangle also have an area of B square units using this concept. And now, another concept that we can use is this concept. If two triangles have equal heights, then the ratio of their areas equals the ratio of their bases. We have two triangles with the same height for sure. Therefore, the ratio of their areas equals the ratio of their bases. So we can say that the base of this triangle simply equal to Bx and the base of this triangle simply equal to Cx. So the ratio of their areas equals the ratio of their bases. B over C equals to B over C. Now, let's go back to our original figure. And from here, we will use again this concept. If two triangles have equal heights, then the ratio of their areas equals the ratio of their bases. But from here, we will combine the area of B and C like this. So we have two triangles with the same height for sure. Therefore, we can say that the ratio of their areas equals the ratio of their bases. So A over B plus C equals Bx over Cx. And we can eliminate this x over x. This is just one. And using this equation, we can now solve this, the value of this expression. So what we're going to do is to interchange this B and B plus C like this. And we will focus on this equation. Now using the property of similar fraction, the right-hand side of our equation becomes B over C plus C over C. Now C over C technically is just 1. And if we subtract B over C on both sides, we get that the value of A over B minus B over C simply equal to 1. And this is our answer to this question. Therefore, given this figure, then the value of A over B minus B over C simply equal to 1. And as always, we are done.